Hi everybody, we're starting lesson four of the sequences and series pack. So this is potentially the last lesson before the summer holidays. That's summer holiday, oh my god, that's wishing it away, isn't it? The, the, the half term, the October half term. <coughs> right then, let's give it a go. Hopefully I won't cough too much, but that won't stop hopefully. So it says here there are sequences of many types. So we've got APs, adding on the same amount, a common difference. GPs, multiplying by the same amount, a common ratio, or none of them. Now the idea is, if it's increasing, it kind of makes sense that the numbers are going up. If the numbers are going up, the next term is bigger than the previous term. And that's all that is saying, that the next term is bigger than previous. I mean, that just makes sense, doesn't it? And if it's decreasing, if it's going down, the next term is smaller than the previous. So that's what that says. <coughs> so we've already looked at GPs with the sum to infinity, where it's multiplied by a number between plus and minus one, so the numbers decrease. Um, but there's one here that talks about a periodic sequence, which has an order k okay, so say you had like say your sequence was it's repeating the four and the ten so it's got an order of two so k is two there right so we've got some examples here so we have to decide what it is so our first term is five our next term is double it so u2 is ten u3 is 20. So we can tell, I mean that's a GP isn't it, with a as 5, r as 2, but the numbers are going up so we know it's increasing. Part b, if you look, it repeats every 4, so this one is periodic, of order 4. It repeats every four, not because there's a four at the end. There's an exam question like this where I was looking at the sine values of it, sine of theta, and it was in quantities of pi, and it kind of caught people out a lot. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So if I put n is one in, so n is one, I get one over one plus one, so I get a half. If I put n is two in, I get 2 over 2 plus 1, so I get 2 thirds. If I put n is 3 in, I get 3 over 4. Now, thinking about your numbers in terms of <clears throat> in terms of actual decimals, they are increasing, aren't they? Eventually, if you think about the numbers, you might like have 1,000 over 1,001. A million over a million and one. A billion over a billion and one. Eventually you're going to get to a point where it's just going to equal one. Because then you get some massive. So it's increasing, but it's also going to converge to something. Right, so okay, so then so if n is one, u one, so that's two to the power minus one, so that's a half. When n is two, u two is two to the power minus two, so that's a quarter. When n is 3, u3 is 2 to the power minus 3, so that's an 8. There. So that's decreasing. The next one, if u1 is 5, then u2 is a half of u1, so that's 5 over 2. u3 is a half of u2, so that would be 5 over 4. So that the values are going down. So it's decreasing. <coughs> right. So this is one which came off an exam paper which people got wrong. So if n is 1, u1 is sine of pi over 2. Which is um, 0. If you, for u2, it's sine of pi, which is 1. For u3, it's sine of 3 over 2 pi, 
don't know if you can see me writing this, which is zero. And then I've got u4 is sine of 2 pi, which is minus 1. And then u5 sine of, what's that going to be, 5 pi over 2. That returns to zero. So what I've got is my numbers, and it's not clear from the way I've wrote it, the numbers repeat once I've got to u4. Hang on, get rid of that. Delete. There. So it goes 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So this is periodic with an order of 4. It was a multiple choice question, and people, a lot of people put down that the order was 2 pi, because it repeats itself every 2 pi. Now that was for the real numbers. <clears throat> if you're just using integer values of n, you're only getting four points in there. So it's a little bit tricky, really, to be fair. Call it about. All right. right, so let's have a look at this one. So it says the nth term is defined by u n as n over n plus 1. Prove that it's increasing. So we know if it's increasing, oops, the, the next term is bigger than the one before. Now there's another way of looking at that, and that is to say that the difference between the terms is bigger than zero. Right, so I've got my un, that's fine, but if it was un plus one, it would be n plus one over n plus one plus one. So un plus one is n plus one over n plus two. And that's minus un, which is n over n plus 1. And I'm saying that's bigger than 0. If I combine it as a single fraction, I've got n plus 2, n plus 1. I've got an n plus 1 all squared minus n, n lots of n plus 2. There. If I expand my brackets out, so I've got an n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared plus minus 2n, all over n plus 2, n plus 1, bigger than 0. Why well, I put this equal sign there? Why do I should not have that equal sign there, should I? <coughs> That's me getting all carried away with myself. So that leaves me a 1 on the top, and an n plus 2, n plus 1 is greater than 0. <coughs> Oh dear. Right now then, let's do a little bit of algebraic chatter. So we know that n is greater than or equal to zero because it's the number, isn't it? It's the number in the list. So then that means that n plus one is greater than or equal to zero and n plus two is greater than or equal to zero. So if I've got two numbers multiplied together, both of them are greater than zero, the product must be greater than zero. So n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 must also be greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, if I look at the, what I'm looking at, which is 1 over n plus 2, n plus 1, that must also be greater than 0. Because I said the bottom line is positive. 1 over a positive number is positive. So therefore, un is increasing. Messes with your head, but you get to have a go at it for the decreasing one. Oh, no, that's also increasing. There. Neat. There we go. <coughs> Ta da! We're like a bit of algebraic proof in the morning. Right, so that vid's done. I think we're on the next page now, which is a to do with limits, which is also very, very nice. I seem to have lost my thing for saying when the page turns. Right, bye-bye.